back to our youtube channel and today we are going to see the lead code weekly contest 422 problem is 3341 find minimum time to reach last room first problem okay so in this problem what is given to us so I, there is a dungeon with n into m rooms arranged as a grid okay so we are given a 2d array move time of size n comma m where move time of i comma j represent the minimum time in seconds where you can start moving to that room you start from that room 0 comma 0 at time t equal to 0 and can move to an adjacent room moving between adjacent room takes exactly one second okay return the minimum time to reach the room n minus 1 and m minus 1 Okay, and two rooms are adjacent if they share a common wall, either horizontally or vertically. So let's say we have a grid like this. Let's say we have a grid like this. So this room is adjacent to this room and this room. Okay, and this room is adjacent to this room and this room. and this room is adjacent to this room and this room okay addition means sharing a common wall in these rooms common wall is this in these rooms common wall is this okay now let's see one example to understand better so we are given this example great let's try to make the grid okay now we have we are given values as 0 4 4 initially we are at this position we need to reach this position somehow okay and we need to calculate the minimum time now to reach this room we need 4 seconds like the time should be at 4 seconds minimum and there is also one thing given moving between adjacent rooms takes exactly 1 second okay so moving to this room it will take 1 second but I can move to this room only when time is equal to 4 seconds when time is 4 then I can move to this room so at this point when we are coming at this position our total time will be 5 because at time t equal to 4 we started moving and it took 1 second to move to this room. So time equal to 5 at this moment. Okay. Now if you see go to this room. Our target is this room right. Either we can go here or here both are giving the same thing t equal to 5 here as well now our target is to move this room from this room or this room so let's say we are moving from this room here to here now we can start moving to this room at time equal to 4 that is perfectly fine because currently we have time equal to 5 that means time 4 is already passed that means we can move directly but how many seconds we need to move from this room to this room one so at this room we will get t equal to six and this is our answer we reached here by this time okay now i'll show you a better case okay so let's say if in this example in the same example I'll have the different values. So I'm changing some values, the last value only. Okay. So let's say we have 0, 4, 4, and this is 7. Okay. This is 7. Now try to calculate the answer for this. 
if you are thinking answer will be still 6 that is wrong answer can't be 6 here how I'll tell you okay so we need to move here if this will be t equal to 5 because we need till we need to wait till 4 then we start moving and it will take one time so 4 plus 1 that is 5 same here both directions t equal to 5 now we need to move from here to here so that means we need to wait till 7 we can't directly do 5 plus 1 and we will reach here no we need to wait till it becomes 7 t becomes 7 so now if we want to reach here time will be 7 plus 1 that is 8 this is the answer you got it so what does this mean we can't directly depend on the previous values we also need to check what is the current value because here what is given you start uh, when you can start moving to that room when you can start moving to that room like till you are not reaching this time you are not allowed to move to this room this is the reason we need to take the maximum and we need to calculate overall minimum time so this is a problem like we need to calculate the minimum with maximum okay at individual steps we need to find the maximum time and overall it is the minimum so when there is a word called minimum and we need to find the path what should I what should come to our mind that's a graph algorithm right graph algorithm and what is graph algorithm dextra okay but now we need to apply this if we can successfully apply we are good okay so let's see this case uh, and what is the requirements of dextra like it's a priority queue or basically min heap min heap is the requirement because we need the less time to reach that point right okay so we will see this example or uh, it has not values so it will be good to see this example only okay we'll apply dextra here so initially we need one heap min heap okay min heap is here and what are the values initially what are like time is zero what is the row that is zero what is the call that is zero so what does this represent i'll write here this is time this is row this is call perfect now we are at this point what we will do we'll take this we'll take this so now our time becomes 0 row becomes 0 call becomes 0 perfect now we need to move in four we are allowed to move in four directions right in four directions means we can move this direction or any direction right so let me draw here once again the grid that is 0 4 4 and 4 okay now we need to move here either this direction or this direction or this direction or this direction so these two directions are not allowed so we can move in these two directions okay so let's try to move in this direction so this is out we can delete this now we need to add new values and what are those new values like what is the current time 
maximum of current time and the time at this position plus 1 because we need 1 second to move. So 4 plus 1 is 5 and what is the value? Rho is 0, call is 1. So time will be at this point time will be 5 comma 5 comma 0 comma 1 this is the thing and similarly what we need to have this direction as well same thing that will be 5 comma 0 comma 1 perfect now we'll take this value if we take this value out of it let's delete it let's delete it so this will become 5 rho is 0 call is 1 call is, call is 1 ok now we have a four, 4 directions from this path right what are those we can move either this direction above one left side okay and right side like this direction is not allowed this is not allowed this is already visited this is already visited like we will have to keep track of visited like the one thing which we already taken why do we need to take again we need to find something new okay so we will not go this direction this direction this direction is not allowed only direction left is this direction now we need one more second right we need one more second to move to that room perfectly fine so what we will do this one and what is the this one 4 plus 1 what is the max what is the max 5 or 6 6 maximum so we need to have like this 6 and we reached 1 comma 1 similarly from this direction as well we'll get 6 1 1 and these values are removed now we are reaching at this point where the value becomes 6 1 1 at this point we know we reached our target when row is equal to 1 call is equal to 1 we reached our target that is the last row last bottom right column bottom right cell we need we reach that that means we are at the end we reach our target so we need to return the time that's it this is the solution now we'll go to code and understand how it is working okay so we need to calculate the rows right it is easy calls easy now we need priority queue priority queue why because like we need to find the minimum and this is the min heap priority queue is min heap this time because we have sorted in reverse order okay initially the values will be 0 0 0 because we are at the 0 comma 0 and the time is 0 okay what are the possible directions to move either we can go right or we can go bottom or we can go left we can go right uh, sorry left and this is this is left and this is down up okay so these are the possible directions we need we have and this is the wasted set so that we can keep track of like what are the possible positions we have not wasted perfectly fine now we need to find the top element of the priority queue because at that point that is the minimum right and we need to have like we have that time row column so we'll find that time that is at the first zeroth index row at the first index call at the second index perfectly fine if that is making the target position 
लाइक रो इज इक्वल टू रो रोज माइनस वन एंड कॉल्स इक्वल टू कॉल्स माइनस वन दैट मीन्स वी रीच द टारगेट यू नीड टू रिटर्न इमिडिएटली टाइम वट एवर इज द टाइम परफेक्ट नाउ वॉट वी नीड टू डू वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट द न्यू रो अकॉर्डिंग टू डायरेक्शन परफेक्ट रो प्लस डायरेक्शन न्यू कॉल कॉलम प्लस डायरेक्शन एंड नाउ वी नीड टू चेक इफ इट इज वैलिड और नॉट राइट सो इट शुड बी ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो एंड न्यू रो शुड बी लेस देन इक्वल टू रोज लाइक टू मेक इट वैलिड यू नीड टू चेक ना आई दिस थिंग दिस इज द वैलिड कंडीशन सो वी आर चेकिंग फॉर बोथ रो एंड कॉल्स एंड ऑल्सो वी नीड टू चेक इफ इट इज विजिटेड इफ इट इज विजिटेड विजिट ओके एंड नाउ वी नीड टू पुस्ट द टाइम In priority queue, we need to push what is maximum time, whatever we have till now, or the current time plus one, whatever is possible, whatever is maximum, we will push that. Okay, and these are the new row and new call, and we also need to insert in base states so that we can have keep track of it. Perfect. so let's try to find the time complexity of the solution time com complexity like we are trying to move to every cell right so total number of cells are n cross m so the time complexity is n cross m is so, like very straight forward because we are trying to move every cell so n cross m and we are like in priority queue we are also trying to sort it every time we need to find the minimum element whenever we are pushing we need to find the minimum element so the logarithm of n cross m right this is the time this is in the worst case like we are not able to pop any element and we are going deep 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 but that is not the case we are doing the level order traversal okay and space complexity same and cross m because we are using that much space we are using that much element so this code will be available on github you can find in the link in the description if you like this video subscribe the channel comment comment in the video that you understood or if you have any doubts you can comment it out we'll reply okay thanks for the watching